I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I will appoint a shepherd to pasture them, and I, the Lord, will be their God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. carry off food, and tread them down like the mud on the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, By my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of people, their treasures I have pillaged, and I, like a giant, I have put down the man throne. My hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations. As one takes eggs left alone, so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered away or opened a mouth or chirped. While the axe boasts against him who wounds with it, will the soul exalt itself above him or who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff, him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat one's leanness, and instead of his glory, there will be kindling like the kindling of a fire. The word of the Lord. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down, your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay, the fatherless they murder. The Lord will not abandon his people. And they say, The Lord sees not, the God of Jacob perceives not. Understand you senseless ones among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? The Lord will not abandon his people. Shall he who shaped the ear not hear, or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs the nations not chastise? He who teaches them men knowledge. The, the Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But the judgment shall again be with justice, and all the upright of heart shall follow him. The Lord will not abandon his people.
have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. missionaries of the gospel around the world. May God bless them and protect them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, may God's gracious mercy deliver his people from sin and death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with habitual sin, may the Holy Spirit strengthen them and help them turn away from sin and toward God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are traveling or vacationing, may God grant them safety and a joyful time of rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially those known only to God, may Christ greet them at the gates of the heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we lift these prayers to you, and we ask you to grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, on the feast day of Blessed Bonaventure, that, bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Daniel, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lamb of God, to take away the wisdom of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last.
spiritual communion prayer for those who could not be with us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen.